they are going to be carrying our product in their must-have catalog, uh, and that's actually a big thing for us. We're very excited to get it out there. Um, we've been picked up. Uh, Eastman Outdoors is going to feature us. Eastman Outdoors is going to feature us in their uh, top new items of 2010. Uh, we have a, a magazine here from uh, Canada. This magazine, again, uh, a Canadian magazine, uh, up with moose and, and uh, caribou and different hunting mm -hmm. uh, adventures up there. They have a 300,000 uh, reader base. They uh, want to do a feature on our on our product also, uh, featuring us as an innovative product of 2010. We're very happy about that. Um, like I say, uh, it's uh, definitely worthwhile if you've ever had to use a game bag and you use them. When you're done, you'll throw them away. Then next year, you're buying them again. You're buying longevity. You're truly buying a product that's going to serve you for many, many hunts to come. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Start with our uh, our affinity release first. Uh, we designed this from the ground up. It has a solid linkage, the proprietary uh, material. Basically, it's a type of grass, so it's self lubricating The more you shin it, the more uh, uh, the more you shin it, the more polished it becomes, and the smoother it becomes. You're getting a dirt in there, which is very unlikely. You drop a oil and it cleans it up. It's nice and close, so it's less likely to get contamination in. It is extremely, extremely strong. This is a very, very strong tightly made release. It's not the prettiest release you'll have, but it's extremely durable and will hold up to the rigors of actual hunting. Um, the other thing is fully adjustable. This, this trigger, or the set screw right here, allows you to set the tension. It's, you know, it's a classic lever design. You just set it to where you can get this to like a half an ounce where just touch it and it goes. Or you can back it out and it's nice and stiff for somebody who likes a heavier trigger. Um, cat's eye design, if you look at the shape of this, what that does, it forces the spring, the, the loop, always into the very same spot every time. And what that does, and because it's a strap, you always have to you find the sweet spot, and so the, the spring is going to, the loop is going to leave your release the same way every time, 100% of the time. When it opens up, you can see it just kind of slightly comes out like this. Again, the, the whole concept is to get the hook out of the way before the before the uh, for the loop is accelerated. So yes, sir. Uh, very crisp. You have to shoot it to believe it. We found that uh, when we put it in the hands of dealers, they're not impressed until they actually shoot it. And I just I just used that on the machine and I, I liked it a lot. Felt real smooth. Very impressed with it. Okay. Oh, we have three. right now we come with three buckles. We come with this buckle which is a uh, we buy from Tarantula, mm -hmm. the the bag company. And this is a patent pending magnetic Design. The concept is you put it on, holds it on so you can put it on with one hand. Right. Uh, we went with this type of buckle with this one because it doesn't stretch and it's fully adjustable so you can get that perfect feel. Magnet holds it on so you can put it put, put it on with one hand without uh, fumbling around too much. Um, the other two straps we have is your standard buckle, which everybody has, and a Velcro. Uh, these are a little bit less expensive, uh, both good quality straps. This retails for $74.95, uh, and these retail for $59.95. And the only difference is this patent pending uh, uh, strap. I like this, because when you, when you put it on, how you can just stick it right there in a the hole, and then you can strap it with the one hand. Okay. I was very impressed with that. I like that. that a lot. My personal favorite is Velcro. I put it on before I get into the blind anyway. Yeah. And, uh, and, but I, this gives me that same feel. And I usually end up with a little wear mark where I go into the same spot every time. Yes, so that's my personal favorite. But I realize I'm, a, I'm, not, the, I'm not the majority. Of it. So I don't like the noise. So yeah, you, have to, you have to be careful not to play with it. That's yes, the whole sir. thing. Yes, sir. Um, this is our uh, Tempest release. It is... Uh, we... Uh, 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 Hotshot has been making releases since the 70s, and we had a release that uses this action through the 80s and 90s. We took it off the market, so so the action of the four sears, the four actions aside, uh, we've been doing for you know better than 25 years. But we completely redesigned this release from the ground up. Proprietary steel with a uh, conditioning process. The external surface of this of these hook and sears, every part inside, is Rockwell hardness of 70. It's harder than anything on the market. The interior is Rockwell hardness of 30, so it's not brittle. 
Check this in the Yukon where it's minus 20, hit it with a hammer, it's not going to crack. It's not going to break. Also, it has less friction than standard 440 stainless. It's a perfectly polished part. So that's what makes it very, very smooth uh, when you're shooting it. The sears are very, very crisp. So you, so you, you know, minimal travel, fully adjustable. It's got a set screw for tri uh, uh, trigger tension. And we have two springs, so you've got full range uh, with this particular uh, light spring, or you can take out this, put our heavy spring in, and you got a full heavy range. So it gives us full range from super, super light to super, super heavy. And then the trigger travel, there's a tiny set screw in here for trigger travel. The uh, thumb wheel is fully, spins around, so it's fully adjustable. You can uh, back and forth, uh, so you can get it perfectly aligned to what you find most comfortable. Um, strap. Opportunity for a strap. We got that from the idea from a uh, from uh, my uh, my uh, wife's disposable camera or portable camera. Um, uh, let me see. What else do we need to know on this? 6061 aluminum, and um, we're pretty proud of this. We're, we're excited about this. Three this very three smooth, finger, very smooth, very trustworthy. Three finger to four finger. We're not coming out with tons and tons of skews. We're going to try to stick to. Making sure they fit well, we'll probably come out with a new one every other year or so when, as, they, as they, they fit. One of the things, if you look at it, is there's lots of surface area. Uh, we have uh, uh, our design engineer really focused on lots of surface area, so when you put it in your fingers, you find a sweet spot and it doesn't have pinch points. Uh, really, really important. What we found is more people can shoot this with a wider range of fingers because it has a natural, natural feel to fall into your hands. Yes, sir. This is a, with the patent pending tarantula grip. The regular strap grip with the buckle. And then the Velcro. Uh, Oh, okay. Thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Back tension? Oh, back tension. Yes, sir. Back tension. We use the same proprietary uh, treating process. It's actually an aerospace company that does it. Okay. Uh, the other application you see is uh, satellite parts going to Mars. So uh, what we've done is, again, we've had a back tension on the market for years. We used, uh, I don't know if you felt this one, but it's really focused on the comfort of the handle. And then there's the sear is what we call a bow tie. It's patent pending. In fact, the patent was applied for by my lawyer while we were on the airplane coming to the ATA show. Awesome. It has four sears rather than the traditional two. So we have a long click delay, a medium click delay, a short click delay, and no click delay. Uh, what we found is everybody we talked to said, well, that's really great, but I wish the click was longer. That's really great. I wish the click was shorter. We realized there was no way we were going to satisfy everybody. So we tried to put three different click delays on one on one part. And all you have to do to uh, change it is you take the set screw, loosen it up. This whole thing falls apart. You flip the, flip the sear over until you get to the right one. Pop the, pop the stainless pin back in, tighten it in, and away you go. That'll be real nice. Competition yeah. sweeter. So uh, we're uh, we're pretty excited about it. That was awesome. And it's a simple release. We went with we have a you know we used a uh, orthodonter orthodonter rubber band to have the trigger spring back. But we went but we stayed away from highly complicated no springs. We decided that we rather than focus on. A release with lots of bells and whistles. We tried to focus on a release that shot very, very smooth because we see this as a target market type product. Yes, sir. Okay, well, thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. That was with Hot Shot releases.